All right, so I got some requests to explain the intro and the solo for But It Rained by Parikrama. It's been a long time since I played that song, so I'm likely going to make some mistakes. So please forgive me. I will go back and correct them if I do. Uh, I actually have a tab for the solo, uh, both in Guitar Pro form and in um, ASCII form, which I have linked from the description of this video. So you can pick that up, and that's actually the easiest way to learn the solo. I will play through the solo anyway, uh, slowly, and trying to explain some of the nuances of it. Um, the intro I'll spend much more time on, I'll actually talk about each note. Okay, so I'm going to dive right in now. Uh, here's the intro. It starts off on a B note, and I slide up to it. It helps if I have my guitar volume up. There we go. So there I am, playing um, the slide up to B. Then the next three notes are A. Uh, G sharp, E. Okay. Then F sharp, B on the G string, and then I end off with um, a D note on the B string. Now, one thing to note over here, and this is a useful technique, and so I'm going to spend a second on it, is the vibrato I'm doing at the last note. So one of the most important things you can do when you're playing guitar solos and just developing your expression is learn to, to have a great vibrato. And it's almost like a, a fingerprint, you know, you listen to BB King, he has a different vibrato, you listen to Slash, he has a different vibrato. And so it's, it's a lot of kind of the, the expression of, of how you feel and kind of how you sound different from other guitarists actually comes in these little expressions here and there. But anyway, the basic technique is, is as follows. You're fretting the note with your, with your, with your um, first finger. Uh, this works with other fingers too, but it's easiest with the first and second finger. Anyway, fretting with the first finger, um, and then I have actually this section of my finger between bet the, 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 the first kind of digit of my, or whatever, this section of my finger up against the fretboard over here. See this? It's touching. Okay? And then what I'm doing is, I am actually using that as kind of a fulcrum, right? And I'm rotating my wrist around it. See this? And that actually naturally causes the string to bend um, and and uh, kind of release so so you can you know by varying the speed and the expression and the depth of the vibrato you can get some interesting effects anyway so that's kind of how i finished the, the 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 phrase the second phrase is exactly like the first phrase the only difference is instead of having a straight note of her over here sorry it's it's um uh, well, actually, there are two differences. The first one is I don't slide up to the B. I just play it directly. And the next one is that instead, instead of playing this note um, just by itself, this G sharp over here, is actually a hammer on and pull off. Now, this is another technique you want to practice. It's very common if you don't know it already. Um, a, a few days of practice and you have it down really well. It's not a difficult technique. But this lets you get lots of interesting effects and speed, right? So, so you can do things like this if you want to, but um, anyway, the idea being hammer on, pull off, and the rest of it is the same, so. Okay, so I'll play that through slowly, both, both uh, measures of the intro. And the next part is a uh, violin, but I played on the electric guitar as well, uh, and it goes like this. Okay, and then from there I go straight into the verse. I because I don't actually have you know a chorus of of little kids to to sing that part, so I just go straight from there into the E for the for the intro. Of course, this is this is distorted, so it doesn't sound anything like the song, but you get the idea. Okay, um, so. So this is basically D to C sharp twice, B, A, F sharp, A, slide up to C. So this is undefined slide, just, but you want to make it a short slide. Okay, so. Okay, so that's the intro. 
um, uh, and with that little violin part added in just for completeness. Okay, um, so that's that's the intro entirely in its entirety. I'll play it through one more time um, slowly with the whole thing, and then I'm going to move to solo. Okay. I guess I play that at regular speed. <laughs> Try it again. Trouble playing slowly is you don't have the muscle memory <laughs> to help you along. But I hope that helped. Um, okay, and then of course the um, violin part. Okay, so that's the intro. Now on to the solo. Now the solo starts off, as, now, as I mentioned, the tab for the solo, the entire tab for the solo is available at the link in the description. So I'm not going to be super detailed about this. I will play it through and I'll point out a few things, uh, but I'm not going to talk about each and every single note, right? I'm just going to give you the general structure, uh, call out some of the technical aspects, um, and that's pretty much it, okay? Okay, so it starts off with a um, three note per string E major scale. Um, and if you if you don't know that already, it looks like this. You can find that any online. Just you know, look for it, Google it. Um, that's the the, the 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 scale. Now, what I'm doing is, instead of playing each and every note with my pick, I play the first note on each string with my pick, but then I hammer on the rest. So. Okay. See how it ends up with that B note, which is the first note of the, the first audible note of the solo. And also what I'm doing is, and you can, this is optional, I'm muting a little bit. So I'm taking this bridge of the guitar and I'm putting my, 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 um, the fleshy part of the, kind of the palm of my hand, this edge, over here to give it a bit of a muted effect, right? I do that only for the first two strings. Um, and it gives a nice effect. You don't have to do that. You can do it completely without doing that. It sounds better when it's muted, right? Anyway, okay, so that's that part. Then from there, you're going back to this note here, A. Now this part, again, I'm using the vibrato technique to, to do the bend. You don't have to do it that way. You can just bend it up. So, you, so I'm doing... Okay, that's how I play it. Uh, but another way to do it would also be... And, um, you know, I used to play it that way also, just, just bending up with my first finger. But I find that that's actually harder to do. It takes more finger strength. It's harder to control. Um, and frankly, it's less expressive because when I bend down like this, I can also, also get, add a little bit of kind of vibrato to, to, to top off the note. So I prefer it playing that way. In fact, if you see my video recorded many years ago, of me playing the solo, I think I actually bent up back then, but since then I've kind of changed how I approach those things. I just want to call that out. Okay. Um, then, moving along, uh, that's the next phrase, and then from here I'm actually going to change, I'm going to play an E major scale again, going back up to E, but I'm going to play the, uh, uh, the different form. So this is the other major scale, right? Same major scale, you can play it like this. Sorry. That's one way to play it. And the other way to play it is same notes. But I'm basically starting with my middle finger on the E instead of the first finger on the E. And then playing two notes the first string and three notes after that, right? Okay, so that's that's the scale anyway. So what I'm doing is now this is one place where you want to be able to play all the notes. You don't you're not pulling off, you're playing all the notes. You're playing them fairly fast. Um, this might take some practice. It's not too hard. It's actually quite easy. But um, if you haven't played that kind of lick before, it may take a little bit of practice getting right. Okay. So. Okay. So that that was that lick. That that lick over there. Now next up is a. Uh, um, this is going to be some interesting techniques right here as well. Again, hammer on, pull off. This time I'm using my first and my ring finger. The 
this is really this shows that like, this is really important to get the the fretting exactly right. If you don't fret in the right place, the note will die faster, make it harder to do the hammer on and pull off. And then of course, the last slide over here. So you want to be able to be to to, to do that that slide all the way up without picking it again. Okay. Okay. Now the next part is of course. Um, then you want this is the part which goes into the little slides, which is actually really cool. That's a wonderful uh, little lick they've done there. Okay, so what you're doing is this is again this is going to take a little bit of practice. But I would recommend just practicing this part by itself uh, until you have it nailed, um, and so. Sorry. See, so if you use your middle finger for this this slide, it all just works out. Otherwise, it gets more complicated up here. So if you were, were using your ring finger, like I did the first time I played it, then you have to do this little stretch to get these, which is fine. It's not that hard to do. Just much more comfortable if you have your middle finger on this slide. So you, if you practice it doing it that way, you will find it easier. It's just more natural, more comfortable. Again, you can use your ring finger, it works, it's just a bit more of a stretch to play this. Versus this is easier. Okay? Um, then so you play that 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 riff. Now here you don't want to let the bend down. You want to stay up here in the bend, pick it again. Okay, um, and there was an example of me doing vibrato with the uh, with the middle finger. I'm actually using both these fingers together to get more stability on the string. Okay. Uh, anyway, so two things to call out. First is don't release this bend. That's the riff. And the one thing I wanted to show you over here about this riff is this little part over here where you go... This part. This is a very important riff, it's not just in this, in this song but in other songs as well, you'll find it comes up often. And the best way to play this riff is to use these three fingers together for the bend up. It's a kind of like, a, like as if these three are one fat finger, right? And then... you want to get the middle finger off there because the next part of it here is a pull off so okay and then you want, of course it's played slowly it's this but you want to get it fast okay So that's the solo. Uh, as I mentioned, the tab is in the um, is in the link. The uh, a link to tab is in the description. Uh, if the solo is hard to follow along, uh, the tab will make it really, really super easy. Hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Thank you, and hope I hope it was helpful.